This week, it's all about great expectations. Where do we park the cars? It hasn't got my heart. The garden is a, is a big issue. I think the amount of work is putting me off. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Take your shirt off, bit of muscle. That's what lots of people would like to see. <laughs> but luckily, two great minds think alike. You probably need a sensible, feminine attitude to this search. Yeah, do you know anyone? <laughs> This week it's all about balance, with a single mum juggling a whole host of different requirements. And an active couple wanting storage for their kayaks, bikes, etc. And a garden, and parking, and a house. And a house as well. I know. What do they think we are? Ice hunters. We're in the East Midlands, and it's a tale of two cities. Cosmopolitan Nottingham's links with textile production left this legacy of beautiful buildings. And just 15 miles west is its smaller but equally charming neighbour, Derby. This week, we're with two sets of renters hoping to get a new home. I'm scouring the streets of Derby with John and Liz, who are looking for a property that fits their busy lives. And I'm in Nottingham with single mum Jo, who's desperate to find a forever home for her and her two kids, 11-year-old Caitlin and 10-year-old Xander. Since her marriage ended, Jo's had three houses in the last four years. Now her current landlady's keen to sell, Jo's decided it's time to leave their rented house and get a home of their own. <laughs> We're ready to buy a house together. The kids are desperate to move into a family house. And this location has one rather special draw. Their dad passes through this area um, every evening after work. So he does actually get to pop in and see them every evening. So that is quite nice for them, because even though we've split up, they get to see their dad nearly every day. Joe's craving a fresh start for all three of them. And with the kids keen to stay close to friends and their dad in Nottingham, but Joe's social circle being 15 miles away in Derby, there's a lot to consider. I realise that whatever I do, that the main consideration, they have to come first, because once they're sorted, then I can sort myself out. Either city could work for this family, but the house has got to be right. Caitlin says she quite fancies having a conservatory. One thing Xander really likes, he really quite fancies having an attic bedroom. Um, and then it went a bit mad after that. And I've got a swimming pool and jacuzzi and, um, failing that, a pond. Yikes, that's some wish list. Last time I looked, I was a property finder, not a fairy godmother. I don't know, Phil, if anyone can pull off the sparkly wand and tutu look, it's surely you. Joe, I understand where you're currently renting. Um, Xander has a very, very small bedroom, and, and that's a key motivation, if you like. Um, yes, his bedroom isn't actually a bedroom. It was um, marketed as a study, the room he's in at the moment. It's absolutely tiny, and he, he's rapidly growing now. Um, he's really thoroughly fed up with the situation. And with her rental home about to go on the market, there's no time for us to beat about the bush. The budget's 160,000, I understand. Yes. Uh, and what are the issues you're, you're trying to balance out? You, I mean, I, I know you work in Nottingham. I do, yes. Your ex is in Nottingham. Yes. The other side I'm looking at is the fact that um, most of my friends in the Midlands do actually live in Derby, which is about 30 minutes bus ride away from the centre of Nottingham. So does that leave you um, considering Derby as well as Nottingham? For my own personal happiness, I think I'd be happier in Derby. But for the children's happiness, I think they'd be happy with the routine they've got now. Mm. There is a lot to consider. I do realise that. Well, we're not going to find it sat here in the rather beautiful spot having a cup of coffee, so we should make a start. We should. <laughs> jo has a top budget of 160 grand. She's hankering after a family home that will make all three of them happy. It's got to have three decent-sized bedrooms, a garden, and be in Nottingham or Derby. Joe's tired of being pushed from pillar to post, but demand among renters has never been greater. In Nottingham, there's been around a 20 to 25% increase in rentals in the last two years, which means a lot less movement in housing stock. So I'm going to have to pull out all the stops to find the cream of the crop here and in Derby. While Phil searching across two cities, I'll be focused on delightful Derby.
Teaching assistant John and his IT manager wife Liz are adrenaline junkies with a passion for the outdoors. This couple have kayaks, canoes and six bikes to their name, so it's no surprise that their old house was bursting at the seams. They sold up 18 months ago and have been renting while they search for their dream home. We cycle, we walk a lot, uh, we've done some high-grade trekking in the mountains. I run a lot. John will come with me occasionally, won't you, dear? But um, not as a rule. And a long-time hobby of mine, uh, kayaking in its various guises, whether river, sea or surf. Mm, all that talk of sporting prowess and the sight of that garage stuffed to the rafters is making my head spin. So it's nice to know that Liz's love of the outdoors includes a few gentler activities closer to home. Well, I love gardening so much that essentially we're looking for a garden with a house in it. I used to hate gardening when I was a child, because as a child it meant weeding and doing as you were told. But once I got a house of my own and I could actually potter out there and do what I wanted to do, I, I really got a, a love for it. And I've taken on the role of weeding and doing as I'm told. These two are desperate to live the good life, but living in rented accommodation means they're limited in what they can do. It's time for me to find out why such a proactive pair still haven't found their perfect pad. Why, 18 months down the line, do you think it hasn't happened? We've walked away from three or four otherwise excellent houses because of the road noise. Obsession with road noise is, is, my, is my thing too. We've got the desire for a large garden, the need for the storage, and we've got the road noise. Is that our sort of triangle of desire? As it that's were? The, that's so. the starting yes. essentials, yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, John, that makes my heart sink. That's the starting essentials. <laughs> <laughs> Storage doesn't have to be there if there's room for us to build it. So we're not scared of renovation or building work. Mm -hmm. It's what we want to end up with what we've defined. We don't have to find it all to start with. A dynamic duo undeterred by demolition work. I think you may have met your perfect match, Kirsty. Why am I not feeling quite as optimistic as you, Phil? Liz and John could stretch their budget upwards if they find the perfect property. But ideally, they want to spend £360,000 and for that, they want a huge garden, preferably south or west facing, and a detached property in Derby with at least three double bedrooms, tons of storage space and absolutely no road noise. How does my challenge compare with yours, Phil? Well, I've got a situation I've certainly never dealt with before. Single mum yeah. would like a fresh start herself, yeah. probably in Derby, yeah. but actually the children's life is in Nottingham. She works in Nottingham, her ex is in Nottingham. I don't know which way it's going to go. Nottingham well, you have Derby. to remember that the kids will eventually leave home. Well, they're only 10 and 11. Yeah. I think they be. want to stay in Nottingham and she wants to live in Derby. Oh, okay, Where does that leave me? Stretched. How about you? I am... Um, quite pessimistic. It seems to me that the garden is her thing, the storage is his thing. Okay. It's working out the dynamic between them that is going to be the difficult thing. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Well, we can't sit around in nice coffee shops all day. We've both got extremely tough searches ahead. My house hunter, Jo, currently lives in Nottingham. And although it's not her dream area, this cosmopolitan location has got lots to offer. I think the schools are good here, we think the shops are fantastic. Good transport with the trams that's going out further. There's so many young people and it's a great place to be. And it's also affordable. The average price for a house in Nottingham is just under £90,000, a whopping 46% lower than the national average. But with house hunters with such specific wish lists, there's no way we can rest on our laurels. For my first house, we're going four miles northeast of Nottingham to Gedling. The kids will love this location, and I think the house has got the space to seduce Joe to stick with Nottingham. Well, I thought we'd start with this one, Joe, because it's in Gedling where you currently live. What do you make of that? Um, I am pleasantly surprised. I've never actually visited this part of Gedling before, I'll be honest with you. But it's got beautiful views from, from here. Yeah. That green yeah. space to look at, so yeah. it's nice. Good. And you're happy enough with the, with the look of the place? Yeah, I'd like to see inside. Good. Let's do exactly that. <laughs> this 70s property has got two bathrooms and four bedrooms, so squabbles over space will be a thing of the past. 
It's almost 10 grand over Joe's 160,000 budget, but it's come down in price. So if she's tempted to go for Gedling, I'm confident I can clinch a deal to bring it in on target. So we've got living room here, stairs up the side. Quite a generous room, I thought. Yep. But it leads through into here, where we've got kitchen, separate utility room. Dining room and a conservatory. Conservatory, my daughter will be happy. What are your thoughts on the living space? Um, yeah, I like the I like the front room. It's got a really nice feel as you come into the front room. The kitchen area is nice. I like the fact it's got a utility room as well yes. because um, it is nice to have um, your washing machine and everything out of the way. Downstairs has the thumbs up, and I think it should stay positive upstairs. But this is where the house excels because we've got two bathrooms. Wow, that's a nice size. Yeah. Not only you can get two bathrooms, you get four bedrooms. Crikey. This is the fourth. I wasn't expecting a fourth bedroom, to be honest with you. Well, cracking size and location, but at almost £170,000, it is 10 grand over Joe's budget. So it's been on for seven months. Yeah. There's definitely a deal to be done. I don't really want to stretch myself. Mm. Um, my, my budget is my budget. I don't really want to go much higher than that. Yeah. As a forever family home, this house has loads to offer. In spite of its lack of swimming pool and jacuzzi, the kids will be smitten by the space. But first, it has to convince Joe. You've had a bit of time in it now. Does it excite you? It's not made me feel ex really, really excited. I can see how it would work very well, though, hmm. um, as a family home for the three of us. Um, but it hasn't got my heart, I would say that. So it seems nothing short of falling in love will do. Not much for a girl to ask. Over to you, Phil. I'm in Nottingham with Jo Beck, a hard-working mum of two. She longs to give her children the stability of a family home. But with Jo wanting one thing and the kids another, I'm in for a challenge. And I'm in Derby with John and Liz. He wants a huge garage for the equipment that goes with his hobbies, and she longs for a peaceful garden. But where are they actually going to live? The first house I showed Joe gave her everything she asked for, but the style didn't make her heart sing. So I hope my next number strikes a better note. We're starting just outside Derby, which has rolling countryside right on its doorstep. So it's easy to see why my active pair love this location. In my quest to find John and Liz a garden with a house in it, I'm stretching our search. We're heading to Kilburn, nine miles north of the city. And just in case they have a paddy about the postcode, my right-hand man is here to help. I know. Ooh. <laughs> I like the Ooh. look of it too. There's something really attractive Ooh, like about that. this house. It's a nice window. It's Ooh. a very nice window. It's a very nice garage. What, what do you both think of the look of the place? It's a very pleasing appearance. Mm. Yeah, it's very pretty. How do you feel about the distance from Derby? It's probably a 45 minute bike ride. I, th I think I'd have to have a look at a map and see just where we are. It's sometimes not so much the distance, but how you cover it, what, what the roads yeah. are like. Mm. Yes. How safe it is. If they're prepared to give this location a go, I think this quirky house offers everything they're after. It's got three bedrooms, a double garage and a massive 10,000 square foot garden. It's on at £310,000, which is 50 grand under budget, leaving them plenty in the pot to give the inside a bit of a makeover. Initial feelings coming in? It's so completely different from anything I'd imagined. Exactly. It is big. It's big. It's a generous, sociable yeah. house. Well, I like milling about space. Yes. Somewhere you can stand and chat with a drink. There's, there's lots of room yeah. for that. Tell me now, which bit are you curious to see next? Uh, the garden. You want, OK, well, I will take John to see the bedrooms. And I'll leave the easy stuff to you, Phil, like showing off the beautiful garden. If you wanted a garden with a house in it, Liz, <laughs> um, this, this could this, be yes, it, could it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I've got room for my vegetable patch and my swing and my yeah. uh, raspberry canes and all the things I've always okay. said I want. Okay. Fingers crossed the inside has everything John's after, too. What is your feeling at this stage? The size of the place will, will, will meet the bill. 
um, bedrooms are fine, downstairs space is, is also good. Well, I'd like to deliver. Yeah, but the, <laughs> yes, in fact, it's such a different difference from what we've already seen that I've still got this. Are you struggling to get yes, your head around this? Yes. So far, so good. How do you feel coming a bit further out of Derby? The distance from Derby may be an issue. Mm. John works John, in Derby yeah. and he loves to cycle to work and I love him to cycle to work because he's so much nicer to be with okay. when he's on his bike every day. So the location is proving a challenge, but hopefully the garage will clinch it. Oh, oh power door. <laughs> All my cons. Yeah. Having a chap's heart could desire. And bags of space for all their stuff. Bikes, boats. Mm -hmm. They're all facing, so the wine cellar stays cooler. Perfect. I just hope it's big enough to help them get over the location. You've done very well with this. It's a great start. I think it's a very it's a good start. House. I think it could really suit them. Yeah. 310, well in budget. Jobs are good. Oh, fingers crossed. Early lunch. No, no, no. There's still work to be done, Phil. I need to find out if the garage gets John's seal of approval. Is it big enough? Yes, it is. It yes, is. Yes. You. The hesitations are the distance to Derby and... I've been listening very carefully to noise. Yeah. I think it's manageable. I think so. Been a good start. Yes. Hmm. It's on the shortlist. It's just down the shortlist. Wow. Well, it's a very short list at the moment. It's only got <laughs> one on it. <laughs> <laughs> So it was the right space, but can my couple learn to love the location? My house hunter Joe failed to fall for my first Nottingham number, so I'm hoping my next period house in Nottingham's Netherfield has all the charm she desires. We have got a busy road. Yes. But in return for the busy road, we could get you a Victorian house. You live on a busy road yeah, at the moment, don't you? I do you? live on a busy road at the moment. It's not really been too much of an issue, to be honest with you. And I noticed yeah. it has got double glazing. Yes. Come on in. What House One lacked in character, this Victorian terrace has got it in spades. There are three decent-sized bedrooms, one of which is an attractive attic room. It's priced at 130 grand, which is 30 under Joe's budget. But will it give her that special feeling? How do you feel being in a much older place? I, I feel happier in this house than I did the last one, if it's got a much nicer feel about it. Well done, Phil. You're back on track. And I'm hoping the room at the top will please Joe's ten-year-old son, Xander. Surely a dream room. There's a little desk round the corner, so it goes on. It goes on forever, doesn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of room up here, actually, isn't yeah. there? Why does he like attic rooms? I think it's because he's got the chance to escape from his mum and his sister and the cat that is also female. <laughs> he's the only male in the house. Poor chap. I totally get Xander's need to escape the strong women in his life, but I feel for Joe too. It's very difficult for Joe because she's got so much going on. She's trying to make sure that the kids are happy. She's trying to be happy herself. She's trying to do the right thing. I'm desperate to try and help, but at the moment I'm not sure whether I am. I hope I'm doing the right thing. What's going through your mind now? I can see the three of us living here. I can see um, where items of my furniture would fit in this house. Uh, and does it, does it do anything for you in the heart? This one does, actually. Oh, good. It does. It feels good. a lot more exciting in my soul than the previous one did. A little bit of soul goes a long way. Sounds like you're in the right groove now, Phil. I think this house has got the best reaction Nottingham's going to get from Joe. So that's one in the running, and it now remains to be seen what Derby can deliver in comparison. John and Liz loved the space in my peaceful property number one, but the location was out of their comfort zone. So for my next house, we're sticking closer to home. We're in Littleover, a popular Derby suburb they know and love. Now, this little cottage is completely private. It doesn't currently have a garage, but there's obviously huge amount of potential Space, yeah. in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Location? Perfect. Perfect! Yes. <laughs> Good part of town, yes. Yeah. Yes, wow! I think on perfect and a great part of town, we will move into the house. Excellent. I'm not asking for more than perfect. Crikey, I can see I'm going to have to raise my game to match that kind of reaction. You will indeed, Pip, because this detached house is bursting with potential inside and out. The driveway and carport at the front could become a boy's domain. 
The house itself has four decent-sized bedrooms, three reception rooms, and out at the back there's a west-facing garden that Liz will love. It's on the market and offers over £299,000, leaving the money to build the bespoke garage of John's dreams. And I've got ideas for making the most of the inside. At the moment, there's quite a wee kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I think you'd want to bring the kitchen out here more. and Because yes. this is really lovely. Oh. Yes. Was that a sigh of happiness? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's nice, gorgeous. isn't it? Positive? Very. Mm -hmm. Very. OK. Liz looks really cheery. <laughs> and emotional too. Have you just found Liz's dream home? The potential for a good-sized kitchen overlooking a good-sized garden. I don't want much more from life than that. John, feel free to explore the bedrooms. I'm not going to prevent Liz from going into the garden for any longer. Yes. So, Liz, it is lovely, this garden. No, it's lovely. Really lovely. Is it all about the garden for you? It's not all about the garden. The garden's come to dominate the search because it's become... It's so hard to find a house within our budget that's got a decent-sized garden. But the inside of the house is important as well. I love the kitchen here with the, with the outlook onto the garden. So, at the moment, positive? Positive. And now, wondering what the upstairs is OK, like. I'm going to let you go. Go on. Go, 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 Lovely. go, 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 go. Thank you. <laughs> The gardens put a very positive spin on this place for Liz, but will John be as smitten? How's the garden? Gorgeous. Oh, OK, you look Absolutely looks nice gorgeous. Up, uh, up here. So this is quite nice up here. But it's a proper room. It yes. is, and I love the fireplace. Another good-sized room. Yes. From what I've seen so far, it's most, most attractive to look at. Mm. Yes. That's very pretty. That's a real love-in you've got going on, Kirsty. I think you're home and dry. What are your feelings? It's a smashing house with uh, lots of character. Where do we park the cars? Oh, you can park them on the street. There's lots of parking on the street. Do you think that could be a deal breaker? I'm really not so sure about the manoeuvring space we need for everyday living, I think. Can um, you change the way you do it? Can't change the way we live, no. Oh dear. When did parking become such a big deal? The drivers are worry. Love the house, mm -hmm. love the garden. You've absolutely struck oil with that. So we just need to think about how we would make it work. But you can't take away from the fact it's a lovely house and I'm really wrestling with the practicalities and what a nice house it is. Yeah, OK, this time we'll... So we found the house and garden for Liz, but not the driveway or garage for John. My search is far from over. So far, I've found Jo a house where her kids want to be in Nottingham. But now I'm showing her what she can get for her money in her own dream spot of Derby. We've unearthed a fabulous period property in a cracking location close to the city centre. And with so much space to cover, I've called in the cavalry. I realised last night, she actually herself really wants to be here in Derby. So I don't, just don't think she was very excited about being in Nottingham. You probably need a, a, a sensible feminine attitude to this search? Yeah. Do you know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jo. Hello. This is my friend, Kirsty. Hi, nice to meet you. And this is what we've come to see. Mm. You're going to need a little bit of vision. OK. It does need some um, cosmetic work. There's no knocking down of walls or major structural work. Come on, then. Let's, let's get it. Let's Encouraging start, Phil. Let's hope the inside gets a similar reaction. This handsome Victorian end of terrace is packed with period features. The three bedrooms, two bathrooms and child-friendly attic do need some serious TLC, but the asking price reflects that. It's on the market at just under 133,000, which would leave Joe with 27 grand spare to tart it up. Up the step into the very sizable dining room. It is. The kitchen's a bit of a galley kitchen. One of the bathrooms, and there are two of them, is at the end. OK. It's unfinished at the moment, but the vendor assures us he will finish it before it's sold. Although many would relish the challenge of refurbing a period property, has our hard-working mum got the energy to take it on? Obviously, the big issue for me is, is I'm on my own. I'd like to, <laughs> but I just don't know. In all honesty, it's heart and head time again, isn't it? Come and sit upstairs, yeah. cos I think that... <laughs> I think the bedrooms yeah. might sway you one way or t'other. This property could offer Joe and the kids a fresh start. 
in a location that she loves. But I wonder whether she'll be prepared to follow the pull of her heart and see the potential of a doer upper in Derby. You've got master bed with bathroom ensuite. That's right. interesting, isn't it? Yes. It's an interesting colour. <laughs> yeah. The work is mainly cosmetic, though that in itself can be scary. If someone had just spent the weekend <laughs> painting this room white. I know. It's so sad. But it's not because you could have the opportunity, Jo. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm just feeling that it's just so much work. So much work. You would not get a house of this size, this close to town, if it weren't in this state. Yeah. And I was, as soon as we came to the front, I thought, yeah, this is a, a really it. nice area. You can definitely do it. <laughs> definitely. I like your faith. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have a look upstairs. Thank you. I've given it my best shot. Now it's over to you, Pip. You up here, Jo? I am, um, yeah. What do you make of it? All the bedrooms are pretty equal size. They are. That's true, actually, and this is definitely a Zander room. I can yeah. see that. So it's kind of Derby versus Nottingham. Yeah. House, house versus location. Yeah. I could eat the house from Netherfield in this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it'd probably be cost an awful lot more money in this place, wouldn't it? That's fair. That's you said it. Fair. Yeah. It's never easy, though, Jo. It's yeah. never easy. Yeah, you're right. But with a little investment and a lot of paint, this house would look a million dollars. I think the difficulty here is that Jo would probably compromise on the house in order to live in Derby. But the thing is, the kids, in order for them to live in Derby, they'd want absolutely everything to be right in the house. So it's... It's difficult. Oh, dear. I think Joe's facing quite a conundrum here. Bit of a whistle-stop tour, Joe. but does the house score enough points? In all honesty, I think the amount of work that needs doing is, is putting me off. Would it help if I got some quotes to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil, come on, leave the poor Am I touching us? Come on, you are you I would are get you some quotes. I would, you? I would be yeah. interested to know, actually. I really would. Joe, are you indulging him, or do you mean No, that? no, I genuinely would be interested to know, because it just seems so much work, and I can't believe that it would ever be able to be done for the money that I've got available. That's interesting. OK, well, leave that with me. OK. Leave that with me. I would be okay. interested to know. Ooh. Ooh, the twists and turns. Mm. Ten out of ten for perseverance, Phil. Always on hand to help a damsel in distress. I'm in Derby, looking for a perfect, peaceful garden and a house to go with it. And I'm with single mum Jo Beck, whose head and heart are pulling her in different directions. For Jo, there are two houses in the running, in two different cities. A ready-made home in Nottingham and one with project potential in Derby. But there's another property yet to see, so it's still all to play for. And I have one last stab at finding my peddling pair a house with bags of storage for his collection of canoes and a garden for her that is quiet, sunny and substantial. I'm taking John and Liz to Mickleover, a sought-after suburb four miles southwest of Derby, and the pressure is on. This is my last chance to find a house and garden they both fall for, and the weather isn't exactly helping me out. Very quiet street. Yes. Right. Okay, you know, you've, you've heard how quiet the street yes. is. Come we'll in, come on rain. in. Thank you. Very quiet outside, but lots to shout about inside. This house has more bedrooms, bathrooms, and kitchens than my pair dreamt of, making it the perfect pad for entertaining. The garden is 100 feet long, bigger than their current plot, and offers bags of potential for redevelopment. Its northeastly aspect is a compromise, but at 20 grand under their budget, there's a lot to get excited about. It's got five bedrooms, five loos. Mm -hmm. It's got a dining room, two kitchens. The second kitchen would become the garage. They basically turn the garage into a second kitchen. That's sad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, John, that is a horrific <laughs> idea, isn't it? So you've delivered on location, inside space and garage potential, but now it's time to talk compromise. A northeast facing garden is quite a compromise. So what would you need to find in this house to balance out that compromise? I don't know if I could actually define anything. 
to that would be good house. enough. Oh dear, this could be your fastest viewing ever. John, if you suddenly discovered that that had a triple garage with double height storage and an already installed pulley system, would you be pleading with Liz to ignore the fact that the garden was northeast facing? Very my life. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, garden, the garden is, the, is a big issue. It's good to see a couple sticking together. And I'd appreciate a bit of solidarity from you at a moment like this. Don't worry, Kirsty. You've been showing them good houses. But I think you know that's not the root of their problem. Kilburn's too far away. Here is a no, and the cottage is John's no. It's not... It's John's no, but I don't want to cast him as the baddie. No, you're if not. If there was something I didn't like about it, he wouldn't I know. force me. You're both so conscious of the other one's needs that you never end up with a house because you're both being so nice to each other. No one's going to say, well, damn it, I want this house. And I'm thinking somebody's got to do that because I don't think the one that's exactly right at the budget is out there. You've hit the nail on the head, Kirsty. Yep, you can be too nice. But how do we make sure these nice guys don't get left behind? We're looking at no revisits. But you have one unresolved situation. We do. We put an offer in on a house some while ago, which was rejected. But the vendors have been in touch to say, are we still interested? This is a house you put an, an offer on. And so it's, it's gone further than anything I've shown you. So I think we need to look at it. Well, there's still hope, at least. And if we can get them into any new home, I'll be a happy house finder. Back on my patch, Jo's torn between two cities. A property in Nottingham, which would please her kids, or a home in Derby, where her heart lies. It's a massive gamble, but I think I've found the solution. For my final property, I'm taking Jo to the town of Spondon. It's between Nottingham and Derby, so Jo would have the best of both worlds. It's got great transport links and family-friendly estates with loads of green space for the kids to roam free. Here we are, Joe. This is what I brought you to see. Um, it's about eight or nine years old. The setting, I thought, was quite special. It's obviously very family oriented. I quite like this aspect here, actually, with the green and the, the grass to play on. That's nice. But it's, it's a really new build, isn't it? I don't think I've ever viewed such no. a, a new house. Worth a look, definitely. Yeah. Good. Come on in. This stunning house has three decent-sized bedrooms, two bathrooms and a downstairs loo, so there'd be no fights for the facilities. Its contemporary design should get Caitlin's vote, and I'm sure this garden could accommodate a boy's den for Xander. Currently on at £157,500, this house is two and a half grand under Joe's budget. Uh, this house has the smallest living space of any of the houses that I'm showing you. Yeah. However, it has absolutely fantastic bedrooms. So, uh, you know, this is a little bit tight in comparison with what we've seen. Too tight? It's just one room, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah. And that is a round table, and it's just, like, quite a small round table as well. You'd better have something pretty spectacular up those stairs, Phil. This bedroom, which could be Caitlin's or Xander's, mm. this is pretty much the same size as the other one, so... No arguments. No that's, arguments. That's good news. And they get a bathroom to themselves. That should sort out the kids, but I've saved the best room for Joe. And the master bedroom. What do you reckon? Oh, it is a beautiful house, and I can see how it could work, but I'm not getting any flutterings. No. It's not all about a flashy finish, Phil. Sometimes all a girl wants is character and charm. Have I ever done it here, Joe? You can be honest. I won't be offended. I do love the bedrooms, but um, I do have issues with the downstairs um, because it's near the top end of my yeah, budget. Sure. I kind of expect it to be a bit more perfect. Don't try and make any quick decisions. No. Um, let's see what happens tomorrow. Yes. See where we get to. We're in a good place. We are in a good place. I, I feel that once I've had a sleep, um, perhaps my dreams will sort it all out. And if anyone can make Joe's dreams come true, it's you, Phil. It's a new day for Joe, and there are two houses in the running. One that she likes in Derby, and one she thinks the kids will like in Nottingham. We're starting off in Joe's top spot of Derby, and I'm intrigued to hear what Caitlin and Xander will make of it. 
think it's a nice street. Yeah. And it's quite a nice area. And Xander, would you prefer Derby or Nottingham? Not sure. Be really. honest. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. to be going for minded. Thank you very much, children. <laughs> The house is priced at 132 and a half thousand, and I'm hoping the second viewing will help Jo decide if she's got the guts to take on the work. It's only 40 minutes from where they live now, still handy for Jo's work and for the kids to see their dad. This place could work for all of them. Right, Caitlin and Xander, you are the jury <laughs> for this house. <laughs> Mum tells me you're quite creative and you'll be able to see how and imagine how this would look different because it does need the floor needs finishing, all of the walls need painting, there needs to be carpets upstairs, I think the kitchen will be replaced. And on that note, I do have a quote today. Oh, Joe. yes. Basically, we're looking at a total cost for the works of just under 9,000. The house is well under my budget anyway, so that sort of cost wouldn't be an issue. That's encouraging. But what do the kids make of our DIY house in Derby? What do you think so far, Xander? It's quite nice so far, I think. I quite like it. Oh, do yeah. you? Oh, that's good. Mm. Promising start, Phil. Sounds like Derby and this house could grow on the kids as well as Joe. Have a wonder. Go and look at the bedrooms, see which one you might like, um, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. I think it's great that the kids have been able to come. I really do, because it's a family house and Joe's so focused on them being happy and comfortable, because it is such a move and such a change in lifestyle for everyone. So um, I hope it goes well. Fingers crossed that the room at the top of the house meets Sander's approval. Yes. What do you think of this? It's nice. I think this room's quite nice, actually. I think there's a little boy in here already, but I look <laughs> Xander's bagged his room, but I wonder what Caitlin thinks of hers. I don't really like it. What don't you like about this room, Kate? I don't like the feel of it. You don't like the feel of it? Well, is that just because of the way it's decorated at the moment? Well, you could no, sleep in Mum's room and like you could sleep in here, Mum. It feel weird. You, you could sleep in... Do you prefer the one at the back? Well, that's the bedrooms organised, but there's still a bit more work to do before this house could become home. Although my first impression was it was going to be an awful lot of work, and I still do feel that, um, I'm also conscious of the fact it's exactly where I would have wanted it to be in Derby. Um, and I can also see the potential for the, the property being really lovely and being worth a lot more as well by the time I'm finished. And you're right, I think this close to the centre of Derby, three bedrooms, good sized rooms, coats, paint, carpet. Yeah. I think you're in the money. Yeah. The second viewing has certainly helped Jo realise her heart belongs to Derby. But with another fabulous property still to see, this could go either way. I'm just up the road with John and Liz. They've seen all three houses I had to offer and rejected them all. Liz liked house too. John wasn't sold on the parking. So the front runner is now a house they'd already seen before they called on us for help. We're heading three miles north of the city to Alastry and they're taking me along to have a look. I'm keen to see how it compares to property two. Right, very interesting. It's slightly surprising. Well, I'll be interested to see inside, but I definitely would have been unsure about showing it to you because of the road noise. But the garage is strong. Yes, I'm, I'm happy to compromise on the road. I'm good at compromising, yes. I can see why John's in a good mood. This four-bedroom detached property was made for him. It has a decent-sized garden, ample parking space for two cars, and a double garage that he could fill to his heart's content. The vendor has indicated that John and Liz's 360 gram budget could secure it. Lovely light room overlooking the garden, and it's in very good nick. You wouldn't have to do anything to it. What's your feeling on this, Liz? Because we know what John's attraction to this house is. I love the garden. There's a lot that you can do out there, and it's south-facing, which is great. But now Liz has seen my charming house number two, how will this one compare? It ought to be the right house, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel the way I'd like it to feel, but I, I can't put my finger on why. I think it's because it was a 1930s house, isn't it? And it's and, not anymore. And it's not anymore. <laughs> it's the thing about 1930s houses, they have a sort of charm. And this has been 
for the most part, taken out. Uh-oh, John's gone quiet. Is the prospect of that double garage slipping away? I think the problem is that the things that are going to have the more charm are probably always going to be a slight compromise on the garage. Mm. But something that's charming and cottagey, very rarely, unless you go out into the country, have a big bit to yeah. the side of the house. This may be one of the most difficult situations I've ever come across. So sorry, Kirsty. <laughs> no, no, don't apologise. It's very interesting. Seems even this house may not be right. I feel a little tough love from Kirsty might be on the cards. Brace yourselves. We're in the East Midlands with a couple who search for a house large enough for them and all their sporty stuff has been Mission Impossible. And I'm with Jo, a single mum who's torn between two cities and two fabulous period properties. One in Derby, where her friends live, and one in Nottingham, where she's settled with the kids. This morning, Caitlin and Xander have joined us for a second look at the Nottingham house, and I want to know how they feel being on home turf. I guess you guys know where we are, don't you? Yay! Yeah? Netherfield. Yeah. Netherfield. Never and what do you think of it round here? I quite like it. It's a bit busy, but I like it. So they love the location, but will they love the ready-made inside? Come on, see what you think. Oh, this is quite nice. I like the feel of it. What did you think as you walked in? I thought it was quite a nice house, really. Just in the hallway. It has a hallway, the other house doesn't. Yeah. This one has a bigger kitchen, but it only has one bathroom. Yes. The other, other house has two. Kitchens and bathrooms are grown-ups business. Cut to the chase, Pip. Go and have a look at the bedrooms. Equal size. One of them's in the attic. Yeah. My bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know your hand would come up there? So. <laughs> There's lots to love in this house, but I know they could make a cracking job of the Derby house. And so this is all going to boil down to where the family want to live. <laughs> this, is oh, this is actually a very nice bathroom. You have a nice view. When you're taking a bath, you can just peek out the window. window. It's an extraordinarily tough situation. The kids have been absolutely fantastic, and of course their opinions are valid and important, but I'm, I'm just not convinced that 10 and 11-year-olds can be the voice of reason. This would be my so I'm trying to help Jo as best I can. It's nice I nice. think, although she's not saying it, I think she could really do with a fresh start herself, and that fresh start would be in Derby. They seem like pretty clued-up kids to me. Which house would you say your mum prefers? I think she likes the Derby one. I think it's been obvious that she likes the Derby one more. It's not really clear cut because I do, I do, I love this house as well because I can see that it's been so beautifully done, and it would be there's very little work for us here. So it's going to be a tough call between two cracking properties in different cities. Now they have a decision to make as a family. You might be in location limbo, but my pair have decided that they don't like any of the properties they've seen, so they need to decide on their next move. Thinking about your house hunt for 36 hours like this is helpful, but at this point, I'm no longer a help. I think you've illuminated two things for us. One is the point about us, neither is pushing the other. No. Which I hadn't thought about at all. And the other is validating, for me, my feeling about the Alistry house, that if I took my tick list, I've got a tick in every column. Yeah. But my, it doesn't make my heart sing the way the Normanton house did. No. I'd say we'd go back and look at the house in Normanton Lake in a day or three, taking it with your comments ringing in our ears. So your efforts weren't in vain. What you've done is change the game and I think you've made us more open-minded about what we're looking for. And I think we understand better why it hasn't been working. Let's drink to more open-minded house hunting. I definitely can drink to that. John and Liz are continuing their hunt in Derby. And now they're more aware of what's been going wrong with their search, I don't think it'll be too long before they're in their new home. After Jo and the kids spent a weekend in Derby, she rang to say they'd like to proceed with an offer on the Derby Doer Upper. 
It's on the market at £132,500, and we've submitted a cheeky offer of £123. It's time for me to break some news. Hello. Hello, Joe. It's Phil. Hello, Phil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? Have you got the kids with you? I have got the kids with me, yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. And they're all on tenterhooks. I've been um, chatting with the agent about this house in Derby. Yes. So uh-huh. I, I made the offer, as we talked about, at 123. Yes. But I'm afraid that was turned down. OK. But I went to 125, and the good news is they've just come back and accepted it. Oh, brilliant. That's oh, good news. Yay. And yeah. many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help and everything. <laughs> Good work from you, Phil, and with a bit of work from them, that old house could become a great family home. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be okay. We'll make sure it's Every little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> but five weeks later, and with the survey done, Joe decided that in the end it was too much work to take on, and reluctantly pulled out of the purchase. Okay. It's been a difficult search for this family, and it isn't over yet. But now they know Derby is the place for them, we know it won't be long before they're calling this city home. <laughs>